What's up, Bottom Nation? My voice is a little hoarse, so bear with me. Can you guys see Fulton in my lap right now? Yeah, Fulty. Oh, the podcat. Oh, you're the podcat. Oh, my God. This one's a fave. Film this one out in L.A. with Allie Colbert as co-host, which you always love. But I'm with the boys from the Dropouts podcast, Zach Justice and Jared Bailey. We talk about Jared's lesbian moms. And we sort of do this, like, connecting of the straights and the gays in this episode. We talk about, like, our fears as gay women when, like, thinking about men and their fears as, like, cis straight men, like, thinking about queerness. It's a really, really great, vulnerable episode. And I just thought it was really, really fun. Uh, Patreon.com slash WHGS. Really grateful for my patrons right now. Like, it's it's been a weird time. So if you've got a dollar, if you've been enjoying this, go donate a dollar. And if you uh, donate more than that, you can get two to four, oh my God, my voice, episodes a month. Bonus. Full episodes. Crazy. And I'm on tour. I'm in Denver this weekend. Two of the shows are sold out, and probably by the time this comes out, three will be. Six shows. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. I don't know, guys. You can hear I'm a little tired, but I love you guys. Hello, Bottom Nation, from the podcast to you. Listener, this episode is brought to you by Babbel. If you take a look at search trends, interest in learning a new language is only increasing over time. And there tends to be a bit of a spike in the fall because it's the perfect time to pick up a new hobby. You're about to go back inside for a little while. Learning a new language is a great idea. And with Babbel, you start speaking a new language in just three weeks. Just in time to show off at the holidays. I've been using Babbel and I love how conversational it is. The stuff I'm learning is stuff that I can actually incorporate into conversations out in the world. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners. To get started right now, Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash WHGS. That's 55% off at babbel.com slash WHGS. That's spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash WHGS. Rules and restrictions may apply. This episode is brought to you by Tushy. You know I love the Hello Tushy bidet for a lot of reasons, but the number one reason besides its sustainability, saving you TP, is how clean you feel. And what better way to go into a sexual act than feeling fresh as a daisy. Stop wiping and start washing. Go to hellotushy.com forward slash WHGS and use promo code WHGS for 10% off your first order. That's hellotushy.com slash WHTS for 10% off. He's not good at expressing his emotions. I think that's why we're, we're trading cultures. So if you want to get into my psyche, feel, feel free to jump in with some questions. I'll give you some authentic answers, and we can go from there. Do you guys like a finger in the ass? No. No. Not even a one. Are you lying? Once? Yeah. Like, you I won't just, eat I the girl's ass? I, oh, oh, you're yeah. missing out. I just On find what? it gross. Corn? <laughs> <laughs> Start by saying this is the straightest episode that we've I had. Was oh, I was already started. Ask you about that. Yeah, we've <laughs> never had two straight men on the pod before. But when I did your guys's podcast, everyone was in the comments being like, "Oh, we got to get these guys on the pod." We're but we're champions for the gay culture because I know, I know, culture. I felt championed on your podcast. As you oh, should. Yes. Oh, we yeah. we're uh, we're grandfathered in. Jared's parents um, are. Lesbian. You're grandmothered in. We're grandmothered Grand- in. Oh, grandmother how dare you're, you? You're the son of lesbians? I am. Son Sister of sisters. lesbians. The son of, <laughs> son of Dude, lesbians is like a great <laughs> name for a rap album. That the sounds like son of lesbians. Out of Game of Thrones. Wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jared, Jared, son, son of, of lesbians. lesbians. <laughs> That's why you can t- maybe talk better with women. Oh, oh, 100%. Can't you feel the softness I on him? No. Oh, soft boy energy to the max. My whole, like, all my tattoos are just about love. Like, huge <laughs> lover boy. Also has commitment issues, but it's fine. We're working through that. But his current girlfriend ish has commitment issues. Is a with lesbian? Him, so oh, sorry. No. T- I think she has lesbian tendencies. Definitely. Because sometimes I'll look a little, because I sometimes I look dainty and a little feminine, and she hits no. on me. She'll hit on me when I look like that, and I'm like, oh. When do you look the most? Yeah, dainty I was gonna say, do you ever wear like a dangly earring? When do you look dainty and feminine? Uh, when I shower, it and is. And she's there. Yeah, I, that is. <laughs> well, that's news to me. We have shared a bathtub with her before, you and me. We, yeah, okay. we have. The so three of not... you took a bath. 
Well, actually, there was five in there. The hot Naked? tub. The hot no. tub. Um, Almost wasn't working. That's so, not really a bath, then. Well, depends on who you're scrubbing. <laughs> you know? um, I got except for she was on her menstrual cycle and didn't tell us, and looked like jaws. In oh there. my gosh! Really? Wait, yeah. she was just free why bleeding? She, yeah. Just, why did yeah. she take? Why, she, why she didn't she have a tampon, tampon in? in? She's a wild card. She She's doesn't very like. She doesn't believe natural. God would want. Women to use tampons because it's not natural. But she would be in what? a bathtub. So with she would men. bleed in a hot tub with you. It was a bathtub. Watch your mouth, okay? <laughs> Second off, <laughs> that's yes. worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pH. You got to worry about the pH in a bathtub. Which less one? so than a hot tub. Wait, We've got so a little thermometer thing in there that it keeps the pH. So I know when I bring people of estrogen descent into that people bathtub. People of estrogen descent <laughs> into that bathtub. <laughs> they're yeah, they're not going to get the yeast infection. That is great. People yeah, of estrogen. Like <laughs> I, I know. I actually prefer I'm that. I'm so blown away that someone would free bleed in a yeah, hot tub. Yeah, free bleeding in free a hot bleed. tub with other people is a that's is insane. A bold, is bold. That's hot. not like you think it's hot. It's kind well, of like a water birth, you know. Well, because okay, just I, down to your roots. Okay, fine. It wasn't just like all fun and games. We did yeah. baptize each other in it afterwards. What we, was the actual circumstances? Yeah, because I you're doing riffs. Oh, He's yeah. trying to tell the truth. <laughs> Sorry. I want to know. We kind of bounce off each other like yeah. that. But what was the actual, why were you, you, the hot tub was broken and you guys just wanted to like go? We were, a, okay, yeah. so. <laughs> it's very, very. Uh, everyone was considerably intoxicated except for Zach Justice um, because I don't drink if that's okay. I will start though if you want me to. Um, I don't drink either. Why don't you drink? Uh, ever since, when I, when I used to drink, I would hit people, like significant <laughs> others. No, uh, I just never did. I never got into it. Um, and I have a lot of alcoholism that runs in my family. Me too. So I was like, might as well not go down that track. Yeah. You know? Wow, That's, we're so similar, we and are you so similar. are the problematic person on your podcast, and I'm the problematic person on my podcast. Oh. Except when Allie's here, I prefer enlightened, <laughs> and then Allie wow. is the problematic, okay. problematic one. So you don't drink. I always find that to be strange, though, when someone just doesn't drink because of their like back. I'm like, uh, oh, what happened? Well, what? there's no, there's no real reason. I mean. If you what want... happened is we we saw something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw something so bad that we were like, oh, I'm not going to do that. Wow. Yeah. We were yeah. on the Alex Huberman train before he even put out a podcast. You know, Who we're... is Alex yeah, yeah. Huberman? Um, he's a Stanford uh, scientist. Is this like a guy that tells about you to no, take a no cold shower? No, about no drinking. <laughs> First of all, yeah, that's is this like a go for a run, homo? Like, is it one of those guys? Like... No, that's my uncle. Oh. Um, <laughs> and it's more of get in my basement, homo. Um, but I keep his secrets. I shouldn't have said that. He paid me a lot of $5 bills, too. Um, what were you saying? I apologize. Alex Huberman about how bad drinking is for your health. Yeah, I, I just brought that up as like that's why I don't drink now is because I listen to that and I want to be healthy. The real reason is I think it tastes icky. Um, and <laughs> yeah. I'm a small little boy when it comes to my palate. So Oh, don't. You're going to turn on his girlfriend. Oh, I thought you were going to say him. I was like, yeah, he does frequent <laughs> middle schools. So that does make sense. No. Um, but <laughs> that's the one bit I hate that he does and I will never go along with it. He loves making that joke about being a pedophile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. You're and listen, any... my name's already Jared. Okay. So like. <laughs> We already have a bad rap, okay? That's yeah. why I, I have to shut it down every He lures time. in kids to his van nope. with coupons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's like to Subway. <laughs> Do yeah. kids know what coupons are? Um, he There is a PowerPoint. I've never said coupon, by the way. Neither have I. I've coupon. always said I'm a, I'm a coupon girl. Me too. Coupon. Oh, it's a coupon. Coupon. Coup. Yeah. You guys East Coast galleys? Yeah. Yeah. See where that comes oh, from. Where are you from? That makes sense. I was born in Vegas, but my mom um, met a guy in eHarmony, and- they Classic. love story for the age. They yeah. spoke for like a month or two, and then he flew out to Vegas and proposed during happy hour for Margaritaville, and we moved across the country to a town of a thousand. Where... Don't you just love comedians? <laughs> this is this is this is a true story. No, it's... no, I no, know. She's saying she's saying your oh, life okay. is so you're, traumatic. You're telling oh, us no. your origin story. Scouts honor. Right now. And then okay, so when I lived in Vegas, I lived there till I was ten, and I got a little taste for the Tapatio ladies. Like I really, there's a lot of Hispanic people in in Vegas, and you know, like once you're around that, that's what I, I got attracted to. That also the ebony ladies as well. I got attracted to both of those because my school is very um, diverse. And then I get to Georgia, my school is 99% white, mm. and I'm like, where's my little hot sauce hotties? None of them are there. Mm -hmm. And they, that's when you right when we well right when we got there, there was a KKK rally in the town. Which no is way. not a joke. It's on YouTube. Um, <laughs> I will say this about the town. The KKKers were from another town. They came and did the rally there because I think they thought they'd be safe. But my town rallied around and we were out there like, get out of here. 
So like we weren't for it. <laughs> right. But Especially it, it, was, not you. it was definitely a culture shock um, from Vegas. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What about you guys? You against KKK or? I love them. <laughs> I, not, I don't agree with them, but yeah. I think speak your piece. You gotcha. know? That's America. what this country's all that's, about. It's about freedom that's of speech. That's our first right. Hate them? I hate the KKK. Yeah, we're, you're on. Good. You know what? That's good. very brave of you yeah. to say <laughs> on this podcast. Yeah. yeah. So no. you're in the Kappa 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 frat. Or um, sorority, whatever you want to call it. A lesbian lority. I have no, I have nothing. Um, but thanks for being here. We're not in the apartment. We're in the studio. We're having gay sex. We're having gay sex with Zach, Justice, and Jared. I forget your last name. I'm Bailey. so sorry. Okay. Bailey of the Dropouts out. podcast. The math is there on that. <laughs> when you guys came in, though, I was like, I always forget how big. I never interface with men, especially men that like work out because like I'm a comedian. And these guys <laughs> came in here. Do you, do you often forget how big men are? Some uh, I don't. I don't often forget, but I'm always dazzled by it. Dazzled. dazzled. Ooh, yeah, I like that. You guys word. like look like you worked out today. I did um, work out. Yeah, I've recently started my fitness journey. I have a quick question. You're from Connecticut, but I mean, like, you're a slit sister, or are you straight? I'm a sister. What? A slit sister. Slit sister. I'm a lesbian. Gotcha. Our lit. Some of our listeners are gonna love this, and some people are gonna be like, "How could you possibly have this guy on the oh podcast?" Oh my god! First, oh. he's joking. On the you ride, piece of I'm shit. not offended. No, it's okay. On Just... the ride over here, I was like. This is going to go either so well or so terribly wrong, and we're not going to have careers the, after this. The thing is that, no, no you Rick will. Uh, don't worry. I've already ended my own. <laughs> I, I, you, That's no, why we can't have you back on. I've been wondering. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, we're having Ashley back. They're like, you better not. I'll put you on a stake and burn you. I'm like, okay. Um, anyway. Have you guys been reading the comments? Oh, it's tough. Yeah, you. they don't like you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You'll come back around. That's I'll fine. be okay for this podcast. Wait, for are you all being the... serious? No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> they, they enjoyed you very much. Well, good, good. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I enjoyed it, and I thought the comments were pretty positive about getting you guys on here. No, they oh, loved they you. Were. Yeah, they really yeah. did love you. Yeah, um, it was really fun. I do want to address the audience. You yeah. can use me as a scapegoat to fuel all of your hate towards me for anything bigoted I say. Though, leave it is comedy. Yes, I was going to say leave Jared out of it. He's, I can't handle it. He's a little, little bit well, more. Well, Jared sensitive. is like Jared is a product of a society that lesbians want for the future. Jared is go. the golden boy. Camila Harris. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jared is like a boy raised by lesbians. Mm -hmm. And goes, I don't know if you felt it. <laughs> <laughs> Snaps. I don't know if you hands. felt it, but I felt very connected to you Hell on the yeah. podcast. I feel no, I more connected to you. I feel a little scared of you. <laughs> is it because I, I showed you my knives right before this? I think it's because... I haven't gotten a chance to like hear anything honest. It feels <laughs> it feels so bit forward, and gotcha. I would be. That's why I love Allie. And I would be. More, Allie will just say. No, and I like the bits, and I'm the super enrolled good. in the bits. bits. I just also yeah. want you no. to break for five seconds and just be a human, so that I can enjoy you being funny. Because right now it's sociopathic. Okay, okay, okay. Can I? That's Does the anyone best else feel description. That way? I've I think ever that's a fair. I think you, I'm getting real vibes. Yeah. But you, I'm like, stop with but, this performance. But then when you talk about your mom and stuff like that, I'm like, this guy has like a. You've yeah, got you're some in pain. You've got some yeah. pain. That's why you're doing this. You're in pain. pain. That didn't hurt me. I loved it. Um, <laughs> I will say this. I'll thank you for the feedback. Yeah. I'll take it into consideration. No, yeah. it won't. <laughs> yes, I will, because I believe you should listen to women. Believe women. <sighs> yeah, most of the time. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the nervous laugh. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not nervous. We're fine. Oh, I'm on the gay side of this. Trust me, I don't. I'm not taking it on. And I can oh, just say, I can good. blame the studio. I can say, yeah, they made us bring these guys in. They used to work with them. They're trying to pitch That's them true. on a deal. I don't think they want to bring us in. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think they want us here. Um, just kidding. I love you guys. So how how what's the highlight of your guys' week? I'm doing the Ace Theater tonight. Heard of it? No way. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that. What a gift. That's awesome. Amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really, really cool. I'm are excited you, to do it. Are you still doing like uh, like on your tour or is this just like a one-off thing? Yeah, I mean like comedy touring is different because we don't like go every day city to city. We do weekends. Yeah. So, but yes, this is the first of a five or six week stretch of weekends. Wow. How long so, have you been producing, taking your stand up and putting it into like digital content? Mm, yeah, about three years. And when did you see the ramp up happen where it's like, oh, there's such a transition to tickets? It was pretty, well, I'm a maniac, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if Allie knows this about me. Mm. Like, I used to be a software engineer. So 
I like track data in a way that's probably more sophisticated than most comedians. And Very I'm not, like, analytical. Yeah, super analytical. I make it really easy to pe- for people to get on my text alert. If you're not on my text alert, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> uh, you know, like I text people when Sorry, I'm in their Mom. city, yada, yada. It was a pretty steady incline from 2020 through the end of 2021. And then something happened like at the end of 2021. I saw a pretty big spike because I got like, something like 30 million views in one month. Like it was like Holy pretty shit. bananas That's in, huge. at the end of the year. And then in 2022, I would say summer of 2022, I had another few months like that where it was just like really, really big. And that's when everything sort of like word of mouth, like more organic yeah. kind of stuff. Are mm-hmm. you thinking about doing stand up, or are you just like for Yo, your friends? Stand up is my favorite medium in the entire world. But I have so much respect for it that I'm, like, scared to fully jump in. I, mm-hmm. I write bits and I do, like, I'll do open mics and stuff. But it's it's tough to be like, yeah, come see me because I want to not just be a person that has followers and think yes. I can fill a room just because yes. of that. I want to be able to. And and by the way, we respect that. Yeah. Like, over here on this side of it, like, yeah. thank you. <laughs> like, it would, I, yeah, I love it. I mean, we just watched Shane Gillis' do special. I think it's so funny. I think it's the God. best. I haven't watched I've seen. it yet. I haven't it's watched so it. Funny. Oh, you have it's to. the best one I've seen. In years. I was crying, laughing. Yeah, everyone says it's fantastic. I mean, That's he's fantastic. So good. He's yeah, so good. He's so funny. Yeah. He's probably my favorite out right now, besides you. Thank you. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I love it. your bit about like lesbians. Hold on. Thank you, got, you so you much. You a little brown on your nose right there. There you go. It was his bit. Boom roasted. Yeah. Boom roasted. Yeah. He's like a cute little grandma. And he, <laughs> he's like, I don't want to hurt him too bad, but what about this one? And then, <laughs> and then I'm going to have it talking to him on the way home. But it's okay. But why don't you just hit some open mics? Why don't you just like grind on the open mics? I, I have been a little bit. I got to do more. You're right. Ashley Gavin. And then one day I'll open for you. <laughs> one day. One day. Never. Well, Maybe thank you guys years. for being here. Yeah, right. Um, I, di- I did not prepare like a super great story for this. On the last one, oh, your gay sex story? My gay sex story. But uh, on the last one, I told like a really vulnerable one. Oh. If I want to get in heaven, do I have to leave the room? Or if I listen to it, can I still get into heaven? <laughs> I think you can still get into heaven as long as you're. I'm good. You can even have gay thoughts. No. No, you can. I'm pretty mm. sure the whole thing with heaven is that if you don't have, if you have. Gay thoughts, as long as you ignore them, you if can you get. Don't act. That, oh, because yeah, you're you're actively is. doing the right thing. It's like I'm having the thoughts, but I'm, I'm not a, acting. Yeah, almost in a way, you're actually more fit for heaven if you have the gay thoughts and you you actively don't go after. Okay. Them. So of course, God that's what get, that's what qualifies you for heaven is not being gay. And then once I get the up, the only thing. Once yeah. I get up there, do you want me to put in a good word or? No, they were joking about the gay stuff or something, <laughs> and then I can get you in there and we can like dance. Or <laughs> we can do whatever we want. We can dance. I thought the getting into heaven would be like, oh, then we can finally be gay. But dancing also. No, you guys are gonna have to suppress it for eternity. For eternity. <laughs> but you're not burning. Do you guys wait? Here's a serious I philosophical laugh. question. I laugh. It's just not funny to me. I'm not offended. I just don't think it's funny. <laughs> That's okay. But I'm not offended. I'm just like I just want to laugh. Do you think that when you get to heaven, yeah, do do does all of your physical desire disappear? And you're just like you feel the euphoria by being in heaven, right? That's the essence. Do you know of what I'm talking about? But is it because it's hard for me to imagine a, a euphoria without physical, without the physical pleasures? And I even mean laughter. Like laughter yeah. is a physical pleasure, right? That, you know what I'm saying? Let's take it I to don't. the heaven expert. <laughs> do we have bodies? Do you think? No, we don't have bodies because we're souls in heaven. We know it's not real, right? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm putting it. Out, I'm just putting it out as a <laughs> sure as a philosophical. A I'm tank. positing a. This is a think tank. I think it's yeah. A, you the only way you could be happy is if you surrender all desire. <laughs> so I would imagine we're just floating around, spirit like That's no it. longing, no hunger. It but can't be just joy. It's hard. Like, we what know do you you're do? not. You're what not just you? happy humans. That's not a sustainable state. Right, we know right. that here. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I would just be happy every day. Right. 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 Why aren't Have you guys seen The Good Place? Oh, yeah, God. there's it, like there's a good like scene in that where like they first get introduced to like the good place and it's like you fulfill all your desires. It's like the character like golfs all day and they eat whatever they want or whatever. And then after a while they get bored. And right. Like, exactly. This kind of sucks. Yeah. You know? So but it's like if you're not if you don't have bodies or you don't have any desire, it's like, what are you doing all for the rest of eternity in heaven? I know it does sound really I would rather I think. 
just remain in some sort of purgatory type state where I have the option to have physical pleasures. I'll talk to him. So that sounds like. Sorry. I'll talk to him. Like being. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a. I'll BCCM. Can can we? <laughs> that sounds like can Earth, we eliminate though. heaven. Isn't that just life on Earth? Earth? Yeah, I think that's just life on Earth. Purgatory. That's this yeah. life now. But then when you eliminate, okay. This is not what this podcast is for, but here we are. <laughs> then when you eliminate time, like uh -huh. let's say that you have that purgatory forever. Yeah, you eliminate time. Well, that it, also it? is like a it's, mind fuck because then why are you in a rush to do anything? Because well, that's the wonderful thing about death. Wouldn't you just sit and death. read all day? You just sit and just feel the sun? And then isn't that just heaven? Interesting. I mean, if there's no time, then I really want to die. <laughs> For but some time, reason, the lack of time is so daunting. But the thing is, it's like when you get to heaven is time like God, you know, supposedly created the earth and heaven and whatever in seven days. So it's like in the Judeo-Christian template. Yeah. OK. <laughs> that's the only thing I know. Um, oh, I thought you said that's the only thing that's right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and as we know, that is the way. Yeah. Um, so it's like so time as we know it, is it time as we know right. it in heaven, you know, yeah. or is it like. Is it more Does everything on a feel like scale? the now? Yeah, right. I can just text him, but um, <laughs> I, I want to get back to this. You, you said you'd be happy at, at some point in this conversation. What is what is getting your goat right now? You said I'd be happy. What it, you two? It, you two are going to be at odds because Allie is all about uh, authenticity, and frankly, I am too. But I think I'm less of a stickler to Allie. No, okay. I'm not. I'm just. I'm. No, no, no. no. You're uh, upset with me. I'm very <laughs> upset with you. Why? No, I'm not. But oh, during during the story, you said I would finally be happy if something happened in heaven or something. I, I was wondering why are you not feeling happy now? Because we're living the human experience. No yeah, the happy. human experience. How can you be happy in a? I'm talking about just you in general. Is there something going on? Are you all right? Is there something going on? Yeah, He's in your trying life. To get into your personal I'm trying to get life. into your personal life. Is, He's are, trying to deflect trying to off to of him. Know, yeah, yeah, you're. What is this? What's going on with you? This is a deflection. Okay, I'll answer mine after after that. But I'm just seeing. Are you one, two, three? On the count of three, the, both of you say out loud at is, the same time no, into I'll, the microphone. I'll, I'll answer this. What I is will going? This. Okay, I have to. I have to give you. I, this is what's going on now. Okay, is that I've I've said to you, <laughs> let's have a human, a real conversation about human interaction. I've said to you that you're not. I'm not experiencing you as opening up. And your response to that is to say there's something going on with me. No, no, you said. But I, but I would be okay. more enrolled into <laughs> oh sharing God. into sharing my Can life. Someone give me a Xanax. No, no, I, th no, <laughs> no, I think we're I need good. to be I fucking think, barred out. Yeah, right I now. need a Klonopin immediately, please. I'm going to start doing drugs. I'm going to actually start drinking right no, now. I, is there no, Tito's I trust back there? that he's not upset. You're not upset, right? I'm, uh, zero percent upset. No, we're zero percent upset. <laughs> I'm messing around. I'm messing around. Okay, no, we're no, zero percent upset. No, I'm not saying. <laughs> listen, in your story, I heard you said. I am one hundred percent upset. <laughs> I heard you said you'd finally be happy. Like I don't remember you as saying that. Okay. I also don't remember Jared, her saying are that. Are you okay? How are you I'm feeling right now? Great. Yeah. Um Well, I just wanted to see if you were like, is anything going on that we can like talk through? I think it's just the human experience. I, yeah, I don't there's not something that I was There's not a big looming cloud over your life that is making you feel distant from he, the thing is, Allie, that he's not wrong. He, no, I don't want to talk about a breakup right now. There it oh. is. <laughs> I don't want to talk about is. a breakup right now. Well, you don't have to. Yeah, so I'm not. We're not gonna. I we're don't want to do it. And how, yeah. Like we're not gonna speak about how recent it was, or if you or how Ask recent him about his most recent breakup. Yeah. What about your yeah, breakup? When was your breakup? Well, if I open up about mine, will you open up about yours? I'll open up about no, mine. I don't want to open up about mine right okay. now. Okay. Okay. Then we'll do it later. I don't feel safe <laughs> enough. I don't feel safe enough because, because I want you to Zach, drop the joke. Zach, if you're gonna if you're gonna make a woman feel safe. Yeah, I would open up. And let's up. be real. That's why you guys are actually here. To, to learn about women. To learn about how to get I yeah, would in love conversation. To learn. No, you get you get it. <laughs> no, you get it. Do you have sisters? Yes. You do? Is that okay? He wasn't raised with them though. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was raised with a single mother. I'll have you know. Yeah. Okay? I love it when men do this. <laughs> I love it. I, I try love it. didn't I just try to bring him up and, and all this stuff and all he wants to do is tear me down and you say I'm inauthentic? <laughs> Zach, uh, we're messing around. No, I'm only speak. I'm not speaking to Bob Haircut anymore. It's only you. <laughs> Bob Haircut. <laughs> okay. The okay. ultimate. The, He's mad can't. at me. He's mad at me. Guys, guys. I, I couldn't be less mad. I don't know guys. if you guys know who I am, but I promise. <laughs> I know I'm who not you are because I've done your podcast. Okay. This is just who he is. I swear yeah, on my life, I'm, I'm not mad. He can't. He can't. He's. He he's not good at expressing his emotions, but so I we, feel them. He yeah. Feels that's them. A, that's a character flaw in my in my book. I I don't know how to express. 
fully. it's a very male thing, don't you think? Yeah, I think that's I think that's why we're we're trading cultures. So if you want to get into my psyche, feel feel free to jump in with some questions. I'll give you some authentic answers, and we trading can go from there. Cultures, trading cultures. I. I'm supposed to host this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And I fear that I may have dropped the ball. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, you're doing Not great. Not at all. Um, I'm really glad that you guys are here. Thank you. Allie, I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're in the studio. We're having gay sex. Let me tell my gay sex from this week. Listener, are you listening to our Patreon exclusive, You're Having Gay Sex? Well, here's a sneak peek of what you missed last week. I have a wiki feed. Did you know that? Do you really? Yeah, yeah. Wait, I'm going to check it right because, now, actually. Yeah. You oh, got wait, three did. stars? What the fuck? Wait, what? Why do I only have three stars? My feet aren't three stars. That's so funny that that's how online these people are. They were like, go, go. <laughs> Wait, she offended me. Go rate her wiki. I feet actually lower. think that's what happened because before I had four stars. <laughs> <laughs> my wiki feet rating went down. That was literally the first thing that entered my head. When I saw it, I was like, did, did my cancellation affect my wiki feet? <laughs> There are four bonus episodes a month of this series, You're Having Gay Sex, on our Patreon at the $10 tier and then two at the $5 tier. Patreon.com slash WHGS. Listener, one of the best ways to support this podcast is to come see me live, okay? It, it's a really great way to just support the whole team and everything that we do here. So get on my text list or my email list. It's international, both of them. AshleyGavin.com, go sign up, and I'll literally text you when I'm in your area. So you don't have to hear all these plugs. You can skip right by them. Don't even worry about your city. Just get on one of those two things, and I will let you know, okay? Because there's a lot of cities coming, and i just remaking this announcement over and over again. We all think it's annoying. You do. I do. Get on the text list, you piece of shit. Well, here's what we were talking about on the last episode, and I sort of do want to do a continuation of the discussion. Okay. We got into a long orgasm discussion. Okay. Female orgasm, vulva-based orgasm, which can be hard for some people. Mm -hmm. And Allie and I were discussing- you, Sorry, when you say hard for some people, you're saying hard for us to achieve that? Or for or the partner to- Or men are hard. <laughs> Gen or men are hard. But wait, you're saying the orgasm itself is hard to achieve? Or what are you saying? Some women have trouble having orgasms. Okay, heard of it. Okay, trust me, <laughs> lived it. <laughs> and I was saying, like, Allie and I got into a little thing. I was like, oh, my record is 11. And then Allie said, that's pussy shit. I know. Allie's out Whoa. here fucking. No, but I was just, I was just, it depends how long you're having sex with a woman. Agreed. That's what we really landed on. Do you feel as men that the threshold is one? That's a good question. Like, like, like are you like trying to, yeah, like what, question. for you as a guy, like, what is your goal with, with the female orgasm? I have a personal goal. Do you have a goal? I also have a goal. Like, do you guys go in? I go in looking for three. Looking for wow. three? I genuinely, this a lot what of, I was saying. a lot yeah. of times during sex, I will not finish because I'm very hyper aware if they're having a good time or not. Same. No way. Really? I swear this my is life. what I'm yeah. saying. I think you go in looking for three. Well, and my, how goal, do you go in my goal, goal is isn't a seven. number. My goal is to make sure that she finishes first. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, that's, that's, that's. I feel that was old goal. school. Well, the old school, old school is women don't have orgasms. Right. <laughs> yeah. For the first fifteen hundred. Well, I thought they could, when, you, once you guys got the right to vote, I thought then they implemented the orgasm. We well. actually yeah. couldn't physically orgasm until we got the right to vote. And then thankfully the scientists did start to build in our ability to And they put it in the orgasm. air. That's where the chemtrails are. Yes, that's yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's in the water. That's why the frogs are being turned gay. Women, uh -huh. if the frogs aren't gay, women can't come. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Yeah. That's a big yeah. toss up. There's nothing you know? I can say to it's the defemin that. It's the demasculinization of men and the female or, oh, you know, which one yeah. are we going to have? I, maybe it, you guys can speak to the, the female experience, but for me personally, maybe you, I am, I don't enjoy like sex as much because I'm so in my head about either not finishing or because the entire time I feel like. I could be wrong, but women are thinking about how to get off. Like they have to stay in the moment and guys have to stay out of the moment. Yes. Or yeah. else like yeah. we finish. So yes. it's like, it's now you become a robot where it's like, I'm, I'm, 
Picking That's my, so funny I'm that drafting. women have to enter a flow state and men have to be as preoccupied oh, as possible. We have to di- like disassociate. It's crazy. The amount of times like I've I my biggest like irrational fear is the nun from like the conjuring series and the amount of times I've thought about that entity during sex so I didn't come is <laughs> astonishing and it's kind of frightening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drafting sports teams in my head. Like I'm picking like the best. I'm picking two teams in basketball that's to play against each other. And that doesn't make heard. wait because is it just because it feels so good? That's the problem. That I had to switch it up. <laughs> it feels so good that if you don't think about these things, you'll just come. Yeah. That's how good it is. Just simply by being. Not for me anymore. Honestly, when I, when I'm in there, I think I'm so trained. This is why we have that thing, Allie. This is why we have that insecurity. About what? About heterosexual sex. Wait, on what? the previous episode, we were talking about the insecurity as a lesbian to be like heterosexual because of what we've been taught our whole lives that heterosexual sex is better. Oh, I okay. bet I think probably lesbian sex is the best. Oh, 100%. Because it's just why? Unli- like it you guys are so good what you're doing. <laughs> well, well, I, I feel like I want to do like, like the idea that come. you guys. That I have, have to, think to choose something. out of not coming. That sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The fact that from our perspective, the fact that you guys have to think about your mother in order to, well, not you, that, <laughs> that actually about might two. make it's you like, come. Because it is lesbians. He's got each mom in one. One's better at math. He's like, that's left. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, no. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the idea, because for us, it's so hard to come. And it can be so hard to make it's a partner. It's just intentional. Come. It doesn't it's get very to be. It doesn't get yeah. to just be. The it doesn't have that sort of spontaneous. But thing. the thing is, is it, it's like, is it as quick as a whisper where it's <laughs> you feel it, or like once you're off the train, is it how hard is it to get back on the train, or are you just kind of done? For many people, it can be you can't get back on the train at all. That's what. That's what but I not for me. I can always catch a train. I can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're like I've but got a at, fast pass. But you have, <laughs> you have to just like remind yourself that the train's coming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have to know be there's like, a train schedule. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. just wait for. It's the train. not like the MTA where someone might have jumped in front of it right. at the previous stop and gotcha. it's not coming. When there's they always okay. a train. Get back on coming. the train. I think women are just telling themselves there's no more trains and it's like there's a train. There's always a train. Just wait for the fucking train. I love this metaphor. But um. Have you guys had sex? With men, yeah. I have not. Um, oh, yeah, you I have? have. I have. I have had boyfriends. Okay, what's? I don't know what. This I love, by the way. Where we are right now. Yeah, this is great. If you guys need verbal validation, <laughs> this I love it. This is good. Um, what? <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> I fucking got in his head. Uh, now he's like a female what? orgasm. The train is coming. <laughs> the train's, the coming. train's coming. You, which one? It's which hard one? to ask which one you enjoyed more. But what's the difference in the orgasm? Is what there a difference? Mean? Difference in what orgasm? Between a man and a woman, like, does can a woman get you there faster because they understand? A man has never made me come. I only come. Well, with women. Allie's gay, so that's yeah. Really but a I wasn't hard, coming with oh, men. Just because you weren't like actually. I probably, but to them. honestly, if I probably had sex with a man now, I would come. Do you think so? Yeah, because I know myself enough. And when I was having sex with men in the like early twenties, I was like putting it on them. Too but much. you are not oh. bisexual. No, but like I can't tell if I hate him or I'm attracted to him. <laughs> Here's what we have to do. God, man, that is such we're a common theme the, in my life. We're gonna clear the. <laughs> we're gonna like, clear I'm the like, table. I'm like, he's my enemy, or I'm gonna fuck him later. <laughs> we're gonna clear the table, and you guys are gonna wrestle. And if at some point it turns into sex, okay, that's what know. it is. Jared and I we can't trust will be closing our eyes, crying, <laughs> yeah. fetal position. But at the start, signing we, up for better we, help. <laughs> we can't better trust. Better slash whs. They're no longer a sponsor. I'm not allowed to say that. For, for the rules at the beginning of the wrestling, can we? St- can we just understand that a boner doesn't necessarily mean I'm attracted to this person? A lot of times it's involuntary. Like rubbing will happen and you'll be like. I feel so bad about that for guys. Oh, yeah, yes. I would get boners all the time. Oh, yeah. And, and you do. I would hug my friends and get a boner. Hug my yeah. cousin. It's terrible. Yeah. yeah. That's so no. awkward. It's you so You guys revealing. come in your sleep. I've, I've I have a joke that. about I've this. Never, I've never. Actually, no. There's one time. And it was so embarrassing. It was in biology class. <laughs> what? Wait, you, came you were asleep in, in biology class? And yeah. You, came? you released oh, DNA yeah. in DNA class? <laughs> yeah. There was, what happened? What I I was just like, uh, I was. It was ninth grade. I was in biology. Oh, perfect and, year for it. Uh, I was sitting in the back of the class, and it's just so boring. It's so boring. And I've nodded off, and I Whoa. I woke up to this like crazy sensation. Luckily, it didn't like 
go through my pants. What kind of pants were you wearing? That's really bad. Like black <laughs> jeans or something. Oh, thank, thank God. Yeah, yeah. And so, but then I like, I woke up like right as class was ending to this It'd be sensation. weird if you were in ninth grade wearing white linen pants. <laughs> right. I just gotta put that out there. If you were like wearing the pants of like a 60 year old woman. <laughs> thank I God I didn't like go to a school with uniforms. I had to wear like khakis or oh, something. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, okay, so you. And so then I went to the bathroom after class ended. I was like, Holy shit, what the fuck just happened? And then I, I just stuffed like some paper towels in there to dry it off. And that was the last class of the day. So all I had to do was like just make it home without anything happening or anybody yeah. noticing. Um, Did you have was, like a, something you could tie around? Tie around? Like a sweatshirt or something? Oh, oh, no. oh I thought you, you meant his dick. I yeah, I so too. I was like, what, we're gonna put a tourniquet on my dick? No, it just. She's like, cut off the supply. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's getting out no, of there. Like, yeah. Are you walking, around, are you walking a, around with like a stain? Like you're like holding your backpack in front of your pants? No, it did. It didn't go through. And so I was just like, I don't know if I was, if it was thick jeans or like thick underwear or something, or if there wasn't enough. But um, did you do the like at lunchtime? You had ranch dressing and like ah, no, I, I spilled that. it on me. Everybody, so <laughs> is that a thing know. that guys do? The we water put, fountain. The oh, water fountain. We we do that with. Um, if you leave the bathroom at a urinal, sometimes like you know you'll have like one little dot. Sure, uh, yeah. I've, I've and heard then, about that, and, and I think it's that. honestly, I think disgusting. it's disgusting. Just you don't just mean dab to. it, just dab it. But, but at a urinal, no, there isn't yeah, a dab. So, nothing to dab. So you they didn't make the technology. All you guys <laughs> are like, surface. oh, women can't do math and science. Put a fucking dab towel. Just oh, a you dick towel, a communal dick towel, just anything, anything. Okay. Um, Why do they all have? But that? but when we but when it happens one out of a thousand times, uh, <laughs> we go to the sink and we wash our hands and then we'll walk out where everybody can see us and we're like we'll like wipe off our hands but ah no towel so people think all the water was just from us wiping uh, off our right. hands yeah yeah I just think it's it's a magical experience that some people might not know. <laughs> um, yeah, that makes sense. I would use that as a cover up. But getting back to the or- original question about heaven, no, <laughs> <laughs> about like. So do you guys, you go in and you, you're you looking to make a girl come three times or at least make her come. For, I think the evolution was women don't come. Yeah. Okay, maybe when women can come, but it's impossible. Uh-huh. Okay, get her off first and then it's your turn. But now I think guys really want to make women come. I That's think they're aware. Right. I don't know if I'm the best person to ask this. I'm not hyper sexually fixated on women. Like, I genuinely, in my mind, my fantasy is going, this is not a play, but going to, like, a Chili's and having really good conversation over great salsa sounds way better than sex to me. So I think, I don't know. I, I just, I, I'm not a good person. Because I think if you got someone in here with more testosterone than us, they'd be like, yeah, I'll bend her over the table and let her feel all isn't three it, inches Isn't three it times. crazy that it's, like, so vulnerable for a man to be like, I don't have the highest sex drive. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> is. And, and you're like, like, I, to I hate to tell you this, away. but... um. I actually don't want to go to Pound Town, and yeah. I just want to talk to a woman. But do you think you want to talk to the one woman because when you have that connection, you're more interested in her sexually? No. You just want to really? talk. Really? I do. You do? Yeah. I, like, I've like. i never been like the hookup type or whatever. I, In order for me to enjoy sex, I have to feel emotionally involved in the person. Yeah. So. You know you're on the... You're you're part of the LGBTQ now by saying that. Oh really? I kinda... A plus. Come on. <laughs> 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 my grandpa but, my grandpa says LGBTQ L M N O P and he he's He thinks out, that's so funny. He, oh. No, he doesn't know it's a joke. He's 83, and he thought- No, he knows it's a joke. He got it r- No, he thought he got it right. He he heard that in a meme somewhere, and yeah. he's just been saying I think it, it was ever Facebook. since. And okay. he, was, and he, he just, probably didn't understand that it was yeah, a joke. Yeah, he was like, the LGBTQ LMNOP. Yeah, no, this I is, support all of it. This is a true story. He wanted to create a t-shirt, because um, he watched this documentary. He just hates racism and all that stuff. He's 83, but he's very progressive. He wanted to make a shirt that said, um, African American, Native American, Mexican American, Asian American, like all of it, and a big X through it. And on the back, just say, we're all just Americans. Mm-hmm. And I said, Grandpa. I think this shirt exists. <laughs> I said, Grandpa, what if you wear a jacket? <laughs> now it just looks like he hates all of those things. <laughs> and yeah. So I had the I had to push him away from that one. But his, yeah, what his heart was in the right place. Yeah, your grandpa sounds really wow, sweet. Wow, he sounds yeah. amazing. He's, um, a, he's a good kid. I feel like I have to ask you this. Did you guys have gay sex this week? No. Not this week. No. Not no. or prior to this week, but yeah. Have you ever had a gay experience, either of you? A gay experience? The closest 
Is I've come as to just like being in the like a locker room where it's like open showers and guys are naked, but I've never had any any gay near gay experiences. <laughs> Your gay experience, <laughs> like it's an accident. <laughs> <laughs> like you might run into a gay in the forest. Yeah, you never know. A bear. They're just you will. seeing naked male bodies. <laughs> that's in that so setting, gay. Dude. In that you looked. Setting. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes got a filter. How do you not look? Oh, you, you always look. How do you not Everybody look at the urinal? At oh, the no, we don't do that. The that then no, you're just a psycho. That's guy. crazy. You don't look at the really? urinal. Really? No. no. You, you look forward, and then there's obviously a rule where you, you pace yourself between. You leave one open, buffer. and then you go to the one. Yeah, yeah. there's If a you go next to the what person, is that gay? If it's crowded. Yeah, I mean, it's creepy. It's in, like, gay. middle school 2005 talk, people would be like, that's so gay, dude. But I wouldn't say people would think it's gay. They'd just be like. This guy's weird. Yeah, and if it's I, like, I understand that. I, I would think it was weird. Close to me urinating. Yeah, I feel like women are closer when it comes to urinating though, because there's nothing to judge. Like if you see my piece, you're like my piece is bigger. Then now you have an edge over me. Because we still have that like little lizard brain in the back of our head. It's like whoever has the biggest piece is the bigger man, you know. And so it's like if a guy sees your junk. They can automatically. There's a part of them that still judges you for that. That'd be crazy if women were like, "My clit's bigger than yours." I, <laughs> I know. That'd be so. Wild I would be we really in my head, head about the size of my dick then. Yeah, yeah. but women yeah, have, generally are. But women have Welcome it about each other's bodies life. publicly, huh? Particularly in the straight That's world. So annoying. You can't oh, control yeah, yeah. that. That's, the size of your dick. No, I think. Fuck. I think <laughs> men would be exactly would compare themselves just as much or more than women how they do bodies because they can see you know, the attractive features and they were like, I have that or I don't have that. If we could like, that's just our penis. And we're like, God, thank goodness it's hidden. Cause now oh, we don't yeah. have to. Right. Because women have the, the comparison of oh, like tits, of... ass, body type, yada, yada. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it, yeah, I guess it is. But in the lesbian similar. world, we do. We what? are very lucky that that is less of a thing. What? Bodies, body image. How is that less of a thing? Because I think, I think lesbian, I think queer people are just like, wait, we're like advanced. Oh, I oh. don't know. Queer about people, that. I really think that queer people like. Don't you, judge bodies? Not as much. I don't think so. No. Oh, and then I'm straight. <laughs> 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 but I, I would feel really. I'm just thinking about if I had a dick, I would feel so stressed out about it. I would be measuring it. I would be. I'm stressed I would out about know, it. I would want to know how big my girlfriend's ex's dicks were. Oh yeah, that's, I would be yeah. obsessed with that. I'd but be like, "How big is his dick? How big is his dick? Show me." That's a scary question to ask, though. You know, <laughs> <laughs> some some questions you don't want to know the answer to. You know what? It's so interesting Fuck, that, that I'm getting out of this conversation. What? Is like, you do have a toxically masculine tendency, and what I'm saying, you, I have it as well because we in the last conversation we were talking about this like. What, because of the closet, you know, and we're a little more masculine. We've da dated women who are a little more feminine, who have dated men, and you, you, you can't help but compare and hope that what you're bringing is, you, and because your body's different, you're like, oh, I can't compare. Like yeah. it's like such a weird thing. It's not. You're not in the same. It's, not, it's just no point. It's just a totally different thing. Yeah. But like, now that you're saying, oh, how big is like. You're you're right. Your lizard brain is do. It's almost like toxic masculinity is a built-in biological oh, thing yeah. that you're constantly having to be like, no, no, no. Exactly. Don't but I think do that's what this. makes you a good person. Or uh, in in most comparisons in life, it's I think everyone has those thoughts. Like somebody walks by and you're not attracted to them, you might be like, you just register. You're not attracted to them. But then to go further and like say something or, you know, you just pr compress right. your. Not for me. We keep walking. Right. You know, yeah. Um, right. Is okay in the lesbian community. Yeah, um, I, I want, love when guys come on and ask questions. I want to generalize really quick. Sure. Are there okay? You just said like a more feminine lesbian. How many categories are there for? Too many. But like, we are now are there, in the age where there okay. are too many categories. But are there like, like I don't a even top know five? the categories. Like, like, like you five. teach me the categories. Yeah, I, I would say like there's like very masculine where you might even be like you know like oh is this a gender thing you mm -hmm. know like are you trans masculine are you non-binary okay very androgynous i should say okay yeah. if we're talking about just the vulva side of things there's gotcha. like and then there's someone more like us okay well who's more ma oh boy which one of us is more masculine i'm not more masculine than you right that's what i thought 
Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Thank you. I think that's pretty. Isn't? Wouldn't you guys say? Wouldn't I say? would also. Based on, it looks like you're going to be um, in a tree stand. <laughs> I am. Later today. I am hunting. No, one. I. Have you hunted I, before? God I, no. You, oh, okay. He asked my sexuality. I probably read as bisexual to him. I also said I would maybe fuck him. I'm coming off as way more feminine in the conversation. Would you fuck Ali? No, um, I don't want to fuck him. I'm taking it back. <laughs> I have to take back my power. But I. <laughs> Can I think about it? I, I'm trying to think about. <laughs> I, I don't. I usually just categorize women as like dikey or femme. Yeah, I think that's fair. But then you have women I where the energy up. doesn't necessarily match the the gender presentation. That is so weird when that happens. That is very true. Oh, you like go on a date with like oh, a of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, girl, yeah. and I, I'm like, why are you coaching a softball team right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been on a date with like a like someone so femme, so like so attracted to me. Like, like I I find them so attractive, and then we sit down and we're like. So, brother, how you, how you doing, man? And then it's just like we both get up and leave, and we're like, that was a total waste of fucking time. So you're yeah. more attracted to feminine. Yeah, and the energy, too. I would say the energy matters more than the presentation. Why is that? Explain that. Energy. I just love a feminine energy. I find it really, really attractive. I, yeah. I have thought this for a while, that the gayest people are straight men because we love, like, that feminine little princess, like, that's so gay. Yeah. <laughs> so like 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 pink and dainty and all. It's like yeah, it's less that's gay. So gay. You. That's gay. It's less gay. Gay guys are the least gay. Yeah. <laughs> to pound no, a dude. A, this is a good bit for you. Are you this doing a great this bit? bit? You should do this bit. This is a good bit. But to absolutely rail a dude, how? What's more masculine? Exactly. To be in a vagina. Taking down a yeah, yeah, right. Oh, right. that's true. Because that's, right. that's like, that's sport. So you know? gay to be that's in a vagina. Like, that's sport. Take it back to like the gladiator days. You're yeah. Right. Exactly. That's a good bit. No, Just no. instead of stabbing them with a sword, you're stabbing them with your penis. There's you, your punchline, man. You, you got to write that down. I'm not stabbing anyone with my penis because <laughs> I believe in equality or something. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. This is good to know. I'm glad I, I'm glad I have the info. But yeah, th- what you're saying is that then there's like hyper femme, you know, girls who love to wear dresses all the time, nails done all the time, hair done all the time, hyper femme. My girlfriend is like femme, but has a little bit of like just a slight tomboy energy that okay. I really love. You guys are does. open. Yeah. We have an open relationship. I've got so many questions when it comes to that. Go right ahead. When do you like schedule out? Oh, sorry, I'm having sex at noon on Wednesday. We probably we shouldn't talk yeah, to each other that day. We we That's have a a, we have a very what I would describe as the door is cracked open. We don't have like a super big rotation that we're going through. I'm on the road all the time. So that's when it usually you road dogging it. Um, oh road yeah, road dogging. <laughs> yeah. So when so no. <laughs> do you know instantly when the person has had intercourse that yeah, day? Yeah, because or the hair on my neck stands up on the back, and I think is my cock bigger than his? Is my cock bigger than that guy? <laughs> oh, does she? I'll be on stage. Dudes? I'll be like, I'll be like, oh, who's in the room? <laughs> does, does she? she f- does she fuck dudes in this open thing? Yeah, yeah, she does. That would kill me. I know we're very advanced. <laughs> very, I don't know how we do it. I really don't know. She's do you, my soulmate. Do you I guys don't talk know. about it. Yeah, we do. Okay, so so say you hooked here's, up. Here's here's okay. You guys want a really yes. vulnerable story? This will be my gay sex from this week. Okay. Listener, you know I love Babel, and you know I love feeling smart and important. Have you been to Europe? It's very hard to feel smart and important there because everyone speaks like five, six languages. Did you know that only 22% of Americans speak another language at home other than English? Start learning a new language this fall and be the exception, not the rule. Because with Babbel, you can start speaking a new language in just three weeks. And it truly is conversational. That's what I love about Babbel. Their bite-sized lessons really give me conversational pieces of language that I can use and implement immediately. And it was never like that in school. I struggled in school. But with Babbel, I'm really figuring it out. And speaking a new language, oh my God, what could be hotter? You know, Jen is fluent in Spanish. And oh, when I found that out, it turned me on. Get yourself a cutie. Get Babbel. And don't just take it from me. Studies from Yale, Michigan State University, and others continue to prove that Babbel is better. One study found that using Babbel for 15 hours is equivalent to a full semester in college. With over 10 million subscriptions sold, Babbel is real language learning for real conversations. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash WHGS. That's 55% off at babbel.com slash WHGS. That's spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash WHGS. Rules and restrictions may apply. (laughs) 
sometimes I, Jen and I, my girlfriend, we do not have the roughest sex. Okay. Because that goes against what you just said in the last episode. <laughs> Whoa. That's a different type of rough. Oh, okay. That's friction. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, starting a campfire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm a little raw right now. <laughs> That's what I mentioned on the last episode. I brought okay. Vaseline for a reason. Thank All you. Right. I'll take it. Thank you. So we're like a little, and one of the reasons is she doesn't love penetration. Mm-hmm. So like when you're like, I'm sure you guys know, sometimes you're in the fucking zone and you're really penetrating <laughs> and it gets like rough, uh-huh. you know, but she doesn't really love that because like it kind of hurts. Yeah. So, and I like doggy style. Okay. I'm not, but we don't do that a lot because it can get. And this is a strap on situation? This, yeah, is this fingers? No, this is just my fingers. So why does it have to get so rough? She just is, she's just, Sensitive? look, she's, she's just she's, a dainty little lady. Okay. I don't know okay. what to tell you. Okay. That's why you keep your nails so short. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why we all keep our nails short. So ah, I feel so vulnerable right now. Good. So, but you know, when I'm with other women, sometimes I'll scratch that itch or whatever. Okay. Mm-hmm. To just, because they're more into it. But it doesn't really bother me that it doesn't. But I've said to Jen, I've said, you know, like, do you ever want to do that? But, like, because it hurts, it's like, you know, how are you feeling about it? And she said, and I don't remember exactly how she phrased it, but she was like, when I, and we're we're messing around. (laughs) So when we talk about it, I'll always be like, why don't you let me rail you from behind? (laughs) You know, and it's like, uh it's like, yeah, it's like a bit. Yeah. But also, there's but some, some truth. truth. There's some yeah. truth to it. Yeah. And I'm like, I asked her. I was like, Do you get railed from behind with with guys? Like, what is that like? And she was like, Yeah. And then she goes, How do I phrase this? And I was like, Oh uh, that- no, man. Am I about to hear that you like getting railed behind by men more than women? Like, I was like, really, like, I was getting in my head. Yeah. And- I yeah. was like, Oh no. She goes, I don't know why from that p- specific position, but the knuckles hurt. Oh. oh, for her from that. This is not true for everybody. Interesting. And okay, so that so was the one. What about the wrist? Like, does that? What's that? Like when the wrist passes through that, does, does that? Once we get up to the elbow. That's when it sucks. Or? That's when it hurts. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow, um, the knuckles. The knuckles. I don't even get like, what does doggy style fingering look like to you? Is your hand wrapped around the front of her? Let's or cut the to back? a clip. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that was really good. <laughs> um, no, it's like I just I'm in there. Oh, okay. Oh, also, okay. I have I really. Think I was you thought you were. I have like a disability this. that makes me hyper flexible, so my hand. Great can, disability for lesbianism. Great disability for lesbianism. My I can really like flex my hand into different positions, which is very good. But we talked about it, and this is so not a big deal. And I was able. I don't remember your original question, but because we don't have a lot can of jealousy. Get into heaven? What's the <laughs> that was that was all it was. But keep going. Sorry. Anyway, my hand's really flexible. Yeah. Um. But because we don't have a lot of jealousy, it didn't like bother you. It didn't bother me. Okay. You know what I mean? Like. Good on you. If I don't think about it, if I don't picture it, I'm like, I'm happy that she can get railed by from behind somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. A knuckleless rail. But you want to do it because you want to do it. Yeah. Not so you want her I to said have to her, experience. I was like, "Can we work it out where we can figure out what the angle is?" And she was like, "Of course." Okay. At least so she's in a willing way, to work on the it. open relationship facilitates growth. conversations and growth, uh-huh. Does, which I think is really nice. Is there a tool <laughs> where you can like? It, I was just thinking that such like a, a tool exists. Yes. Wait. Okay. What, Why? What is it? What is it? Like you can you, add a. You can put a dild on your fingers. Why has that oh. not been implemented? I like feeling. You okay? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. It, I is... would want to feel it. Yeah, gotcha. Mm. Oh, but I you can add me. like a finger extension. You can add a finger extender. <gasps> That's hilarious. Men yeah. are coming up with crazy things. <laughs> we did that. Yeah, I I had to have been. <laughs> Good for us. Had to have been a man that was like, it's not long enough. I'm gonna help him out. <laughs> that is true. It is. But the not. thing is, like, what I don't understand is why. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. No. Have you? <laughs> that was sorry, so not it. I have you guys ever thought about implementing more? Like, you've heard me. I I just said like there are women, and there are women that come that way, like doggy style with fingers. Like, 
because you're hitting their G spot, that's like, you know, rather than deeper, you can get like more control and shallower or whatever. Have you got, would you, that ever cross your mind to do a dickless doggy style? Do you no, see what I'm, not doggy style. Definitely um, not doggy style. It wouldn't cross my mind either. Yeah. Because you're it, an innovator. But that's what I, this is what <laughs> I want to bring to the straight community. Yeah. I love this idea. Like, I, right. Are you, how much fingering are you guys doing? Yeah. Like, how much fingering are you doing? Quite a bit at the at the front. Yeah, definitely. The front end. It's it's more we're more play. polishing than than I am. You know, I think it's polish, enter to get ready for sex, and then we have the intercourse. So, are the three orgasms you're looking for? Are they coming from penetrative orgasms, or they're no? You there? It's a lot easier not penetrative. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. That's when the fingerings happen. And I also tend to ask like which one they prefer. Yeah, because then yeah, it's good. You're communicating. Yeah, you're doing a good job, Thank man. You. Thank you. <laughs> His rough exterior would lead you to believe that. I know. I want to find your little heart of gold. It's not there. It's there, I'm man. Inside. It's mine. I it's know okay. it's in there. What? I, I feel like I've been very hard of goldy. It's, you know? You've had moments. You've had, You've like, had little moments. nuggets of yeah, you just heart can't, of gold. Yeah, I just can't let you. I, I have the door cracked for you, you know? Like your relationship. <laughs> like our relationship. Exactly. Yeah. You can see the light Good shining color. through. You can yeah. see the light, but. You know, it's I want blinking. more men to have lesbian sex. Mm. That's There's what I want. There's a book about that. Is there? Is there yeah, really? about like modeling good sex after lesbian sex. Well, it should okay. I what it's called. So they have you a spare. Plug it. They have a spare room in here. Okay, Us two, you two, will go our separate ways. We'll have sex with lesbians, obviously. Yeah. And they'll come back and we'll review it. We'll put it up on. We'll run back. We'll run back on Patreon. <laughs> we'll put it on Patreon. Patreon.com/slash/whgs for the. Yeah, but like. <laughs> But do you know what I mean? Like, would a woman even be receptive? Would a straight woman, like, if you guys, if you guys got behind a woman and slid your fingers in? I just think she. Would, I think to some degree she's gonna be like, "What is happening?" Yeah, I think there would yeah. be a lot of confusion at first, but I think just keeping that line of communication open, just be, honestly, just being like, "Listen, I heard this from my gay friends." Okay. I want to try this and see if Listen, we like it. Listen, I heard it. this from my moms. <laughs> <laughs> in, in a functional way of if you're engineering the whole process of sex, I, yeah, it doesn't make sense for our parties to participate in that because we, we have a built-in tool for that exact action. Um, but your built-in tool can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we've been inventing. You said we've been inventing. We've been inventing. <laughs> You don't have a napkin for the urinal. No, no. But I, you um, do have a dick, a dick that can hit the. Yeah. You, th you throw some fingers in there. You feel that. You feel that um, bumpy sticker. You. Um, mm -hmm. Bumpy sticker. I, I mean, yeah, right. About that size. Yeah. Feels like it's got some uh, bubbles on it. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Sometimes you don't feel it. Feel what? Sometimes I've been inside of a woman and I'm like looking for it. It's just oh. like a and it's in there. smooth. <laughs> what was it? A weekday or a weekend? Like the, the walnut? And yeah, the G spot. Yeah. Or whatever. Someone's going to write it and be like, technically it's this. You all know what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I, no I don't idea. need the comments on this. Yeah. I do. But, yeah. Good. I think men know now. I think men know that they always have to be fingering. Okay, yeah. I think always it's be about fingering. Education. ABF. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I think Are you guys, like, obsessed with trying Except, to get a girl yes. to have anal? No. no. I want. Is that, like, I don't, a childish thing? The boy, like, it's like I a boy thing? So. I think so. I don't know. I, I think men no are different now. How old are you guys? 25. 28. I really think men are different now. I think something has happened in the last 10 years that men like finally have been tamed. Ta not tamed, but like they know. I recently got a bidet and if you're not using one, I just can't <laughs> trust it. I Do just... you guys like a finger in the ass? No. No. Not even a one. Are you lying? Once? No. I, really... I heard this is really common. Yeah, it's very common. Kanye loves it, I think. Um, but uh, that, that area choice. on both parties are involved, Jewish? like, are just <laughs> off limits to me. Yeah. You have, oh, really? Yeah, like, you I just. You won't eat I the just, girl's ass? I, oh. oh you're yeah. missing out. I just on find what? it gross. Ass. Corn? <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what am I missing out I've on? Had Second corn. serving of Chipotle? Like, <laughs> oh. I, li I like it. Yeah, I. I again, I'm too in my head. If I was just this euphoric, oh, we're having sex. If you were in my, heaven. If, if <laughs> eyes I'd be eating ass. <laughs> eyes rolled back in the head, and I'm just like, this is so hot. And then I'm in there, but no, the whole time I'm thinking, poopy, poopy butt in my mouth. I don't like that taste. Get it out, you know? But uh, you know, you got to clean. You have the bidet. 
You no. got yeah. You have to I heard me can go sit down. Yeah. It was kind of funny. My mom was over the other day to transition. Um, this has it's nothing to do with transition. Yeah, seriously. She didn't know how the bidet worked at my house, oh, and no. she turned it on. Didn't know how to turn it off, and just flooded my bathroom. <laughs> and that's why all the towels were on my bathroom floor. Um, but that's anyway, funny. so that was funny. Have yeah. you guys had gay thoughts? Gay thoughts. I think everyone has gay thoughts. In a, you in a, speak for yourself. <laughs> I was gonna say, in a way of like, have I ever been like that guy's attractive? And like, yeah. I'd be attracted to them. No. And I that I'm not trying to do that to save my masculinity. I just genuinely have no, it. No, no, I yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I don't find men attractive. <laughs> Sometimes I have the waist up crush. Have you ever gotten that? The waist up crush. Waist up crush is like, you're like, oh, he's attractive. And, yeah, well, you can see people and, are attractive and like, oh, yeah. oh, he makes me giggle. But like, I can't like, I can't make get, it get translate down, down there. Yeah. Yeah. No, my right. yeah, I more okay, see that okay. and be like, yeah, I want that body. I don't want. I want that body. To use to manipulate women into my bed. I don't want that body to, <laughs> to be in my bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to manipulate the body into. The I don't want to wash clothes with my own abs. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. Speaking of gay people, no, but people, you do. No, you want to wash clothes I, on your own abs. You want to wash your own clothes on your abs, not his clothes exactly. on. Your yeah, abs. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so or your clothes on his abs. The body yeah. type I want. Have you ever seen Queer Eye? Of course. Yes. Um, oh, the yes. An- Anthony, Anthony, the Anthony, the the chef. That's the body I want. He's okay. Is he ripped? Toned. He's toned. He's just, he's got it. The kid's got it. And this is how I know he's got it, because anytime we watch it, my mom will go, I wish he wasn't gay. Like, she has a chance, but <laughs> but every time she says it, I'm like, okay, that's the idea. Isn't that funny? Yeah. yeah. That it's the gay thing that's preventing your mom from yeah, having yeah, yeah. sex with the queer eye guy? He doesn't even identify as gay. He's not? He's like, I, I don't know what I am. I'm like, you're on Queer Eye. <laughs> <laughs> we figured it, it out. It's called Queer Eye, Yeah. to be fair to him. But I think he the might. The producers are like, what I don't the? know. Of course you are. <laughs> it's our whole thing. <laughs> the producers, wait, they find out he's straight. They're like, what? You fuck. Like, I know. You cook do so do well, now? though. <laughs> and we're like, no, it's okay. <laughs> we have to keep him. It's, discri- it's technically discrimination. If he, we fire he has him a good beer. body. Like his pecs in his shirt. He just things look good on him. Clothes look good on him. I know, I I know. That's what I want. I just started my workout journey. I'm two weeks in, but that's what I want at the end. Yeah, I can actually tell that you guys have been working out. When you walked in, you had uh, a lot of my guy friends, they're doing this together. There's two guys. Oh, we're. They're going to the gym together. Not doing this together. This is completely separate. Completely separate. I go to a separate gym. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we have a cold plunge, so that's pretty bro y. Oh, (laughs) that's fun. You can buy one? Yeah. They did send it to us. I want to apologize to poor people, <laughs> but um, we did get it gifted. Um, but we do use it, and it is terrifyingly it's, wonderful. How long do you stay in there? Three minutes. Three minutes. Yeah, like wow. Three minutes. Yeah. A I day. can only do like thirty seconds. It's oh, like. But uh, it works. D- I, Does it make you happier? It I, makes me stressed. Does it make? Does it affect your anxiety? I've ne- I don't really get anxiety, like personally, especially socially. But I feel it helps out because I have like a lot to do during the day where it's like I, I got to just get this done. If I can force myself to do something I didn't want to do at the very start of the day, then the rest of the things of the day, it's like, OK, yeah, I can do that. Mm. I still have thing. anxiety, so I don't know if it's like helping all that much. Um, but, yeah, it's just it's so it's just so painful. Like it feels like your body kind of like swells up a little bit and it feels like you're about to explode. And it's just painful all around. How often do you guys do it? Uh, we were doing it every day till we just went to Denver and uh, Kentucky, and then now we got. And you're, you're touring your pod, right? Uh, we only done two, two shows, but yeah. that's still has yeah. it been fun. Yeah, oh, it's, it's been great. Been a blast. We did City Winery in um, New York. It was really mm, cool. So fun. That's yeah. awesome. That doing the live shows really uh, like enhanced the respect that we have for stand up comedy because it's it's. So you don't realize how difficult it is to captivate a room and try to like try to make them laugh until you're standing on a stage with a microphone in your hand and you have 300 eyes staring at you. I don't know how people do like thousands or tens of thousands at a time. It it's blows. easier. It's actually. I was easier. gonna say if it, it might be easier because it's, it's easier. You know, yeah, speaking comedy to is like the one thing where it's backwards. You're doing the hardest thing on the planet when you're the worst at it. You're at an open mic for five other comedians in a horrible environment. They don't want to laugh at anything. And you're the worst you've ever been. Why is that? Why and then when you're the laugh? best you've ever been, you're in front of over a thousand people. Yeah. They love you. It's Who, easy. Are there, is there any it's way crazy. that you mm. currently study or have always studied? Oh, my it? God, everybody. I've, there, I've studied everybody. I've been any, watching. Like, a go-to? People are going to 
uh, shit on me, but I've been actually watching a lot of um, Chappelle. Oh, really? Lately. Um, yeah, I think I think, I think you don't have stuff. to agree with you know everything. You're right, exactly. Says, but exactly. the cadence of the way he does things obviously yeah. works. Yeah, yeah. There's a reason um, he has. There's a the reason people still has. listen to Michael Jackson. <laughs> 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 and we all know what that is, and we agree with it. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean. Um, especially you, you Jared's like I'm out. I'm, I'm out. out, and this is where I. But Wanda step Sykes, away. Wanda Sykes is one of my favorites. Wanda Sykes, yeah. So I actually funny. never really. I've never seen it. her stand up. Wanda Sykes. Really oh, like watch Andrew the Schultz. 2009. I'm gonna be me. Okay. That special. I love is like, Wanda. That special was. I love that special. I'll add that. Sarah used... Silverman's special, Speck of Dust. That was huge for me too. Really? Yeah, I love Speck, Speck of Dust. Dust. Wow. I used to growing up when I was doing homework, I couldn't. I love music to death but I couldn't listen to it because I'd be too distracted by it. So I would listen to stand-up comedy on like Pandora and do my homework. Oh, Tom, that was back in the day of like Tosh. When I would huge. find that distracting. Oh, Tosh. Tosh was Tosh. the funniest back in the day. People love Tosh. Tosh had like a big minute. There. He's yeah. still, he's still he, he's like touring. He's still touring. Yeah. I was never into his show, but his stand-up I thought was killer. Yeah, the shows never do it for me, like those types of, Yeah. but the stand-ups always do. I love the, yeah. Wait, I was going to say one more thing. Back on the discussion that we were having before, would you be intimidated to date a bisexual woman? Oh, yeah. I was because like no. with our experience with our internalized homophobia towards ourselves, <laughs> our self-loathing, mm -hmm. like do you guys would you do you think you'd feel pressure? Depends on how you know long we've been in it. I think after a year, and I knew she was my person, and the loyalty was there. Like at the beginning, when it's we're in the talking stage, and there's just such a bigger wide array of um sample sizes for her i'd be everywhere i'd be out I'd be like okay yeah like we went on another date but are any of these people in this room attractive to her like did, are she sure she likes me and then i think but once i knew she was my person i could trust her yeah it doesn't matter then we could be like just galba huh yeah that's the yeah. best part about oh that would be i fun. think being with women you look at women and you're like oh, but just what, galba, if, what huh? if you're with a girl and she <laughs> yeah, says exactly. can i still hook up with women no no, if like if yeah, you're no. in a relationship, correct I, like, answer by the way, guys. Yeah, <laughs> that's a tricky why, question for open, straight men. That's, that's a tricky question. Because some of them, are, some of them, some of like say, yeah. she can't hook up with men, but she can hook up with women. It's yeah. a, that's another a wrong human answer. being having an intimate experience. Like I respect yeah, exactly. you for being able to have the maturity of knowing you can have that open relationship, and you know still understand that that's not your whole relationship is that emotion part. But being physically intimate with someone. Same thing as like the intimate conversation. That is a point where I don't thoroughly enjoy other people knowing what that's like with my person. Like I've dated. And that's okay, but I'm not. Like I, I even, never thought I'd be in an open relationship. No, no. Like, it truly really? just kind of happened. Yeah. I've even like you know dated actresses before, and I obviously super supportive. Go and do your kissing scene. I'm right, never right, going right. to say anything about it. But in the back of my mind, it's like. You know, it's a little sad that, like, they know what their kiss feels like, mm. if that makes sense. It's mm. like, okay, that was a little special thing. I get it's work. You're disassociating. I don't think you're cheating or emotionally cheating. But it's just, like, in my mind, it's like, oh, yeah. that's kind of – I kind of like that I knew what that was. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I feel the same way. It would be hard for me to tolerate. Yeah. Every time I've tried to do open, it fails. I understand where you guys are coming from. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want the person I'm with, like, fucking other people. Wait, so who... That's totally irrational. Who yeah. brought up the idea of an open relationship? This is this is why I think it works. Neither of us. Oh. Because the way that we dated, we dated during the pandemic for about a year, a little over a year. We knew we were going to break up because I was ready for finding my partner, and she's a little younger than I am, and she was like, you know, I'm sort of newly out, and 18. I want to explore... She had just turned 18, and I jumped <laughs> on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was still in high school. Yeah, I, I waited, and age. I waited. Yeah, she was a fifth year. She, yeah. I, <laughs> um, I, uh, we dated, and then we broke up, and then when we got back together, we did not just get back together. She was like, I still am not sure how long this is going to take me to do all the exploring I want to do. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I'm still in love with you. You're still in love with me let's just see what happens and kind of keep this like at an arm's length. So we, we started hooking up every now and then. Okay. And then it kind of got more and more as it does when, with an ex. It's a slippery slope. Yeah. But we were still hooking up with other people almost as a form of safety, I think, for both of us. To kind of still to keep, keep yourselves it, yeah. at a distance. So then when we decided to get back together, we had already been practicing an open relationship.
Mm. So we were like, do gotcha. we want to just keep doing this? And the answer was yes. Mm. How would you react if she came to you and said, I think I, I want us to try monogamy? I'd say yes immediately. Oh, you would? Okay. Yeah. Oh. And be like, <laughs> News because <to> you. <laughs> I'd say yes immediately. Because if that's wow. what she needs, then I, that's what she needs. And it's not something that I'm, an open relationship is not something that I need. Gotcha. It's that's, just, I think that's the, how it is working because it's not something you need. That's the reason why it's working. We have a compatibility in that way. Yeah, I don't think it works when your relationship is dysfunctional and you solve the relationship by That's letting other people the in. Big, and this is the thing that I feel a lot of vulnerability talking about my open relationship because people are very, very skeptical of them. Yeah. They say very mean things. And it's like that's the thing about this human existence in general. We're all going to be dead and this planet's going to explode. Well, yeah, it's like I that's the thing where it's like I, if people hate or whatever it is, I, it just does not matter. Right. Like on a, that's why I'm like so interested in this experience. It's a different human experience and all of it's part of being a human being. So it's like I just want to know Yeah. like genuinely. Totally. Like yeah. And so many people do it poorly because it's a thing that we're seeing happening and we're like, oh, maybe we should, when your relationship's in trouble, you're like, oh, maybe I should try this because I am wanting to hook up with people. No. <laughs> that, no. That's the, when you should stay the furthest yes, away from it. It's this weird backwards thing where right. you can only do it when both of you almost don't want to hook up with other people. <laughs> that's the time you open the door and yeah. you're like, can we do this? And you do it very carefully and intentionally. And we don't develop feelings. Yeah. If there are feelings, we don't we do not cross that line. And when there have been times where we're like, oh, is am I crossing a line? We talk about it immediately. You don't immediately. let it like build and fester. Yeah, yeah. And those conversations, we've only really had like two. But yeah, they're not like easy, fun conversations. But the thing that I tell everybody is it has taken that there is no conversation that we can't have. Because when nice. you're able to sit down and be like, this weird thing, I don't know, like, this woman has feelings for me or, like, I felt this spark and, like, I just wanted you to know that I felt that and, like, I'm not going to see her again or something like that. When you're able to do that and you still trust the other person, there is literally nothing that is off the table for the relationship, including my knuckles. Oh, your knuckles hurt when you, <laughs> when you <laughs> pound it from behind because you're not worried that the person's going to get insecure. Yeah. Do, you, do you see it? Or I not putting a timeline on things, but do you see it? Like, of course it's going to be monogamous at some point. Like, is that how you kind see it? Or? Of. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. that's because I... it's hard to schedule things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you have like kids in dreams. Do you want kids? Yeah, do yeah. Do you want dreams? I, I do want dreams. Uh. I'm working super hard on the dreams. <laughs> the kids. And on the kids. Oh. I'm getting my uh, my eggs are, um, I'm freezing my eggs. Oh, really? Very, yeah. Um, uh, Walt Disney of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, they're actually, uh, they're actually anti-Semitic, the eggs. Ah. I went in. I am Jewish, but I did ask. I was like, hey, when you freeze them, can you make sure that they hate Jews? Yeah. Okay, so they're just wearing Yeezys all the time. <laughs> the eggs that I have are wearing uh, Yeezys, and um, they you know, they dress up as Nazis for Halloween. Yeah. And, you know, oh, very similar yeah. to my uncle, but it wasn't Halloween, and it was dinner <laughs> on a Tuesday. But, yeah, same thing. Yeah. Um, sorry, that was like a long tirade about... That was good, though. No, I that think was it, great. I, that's what I wanted to know. I learned so much about you and just, like, Me open too. relationships in general. Yeah. Yeah. My relationship is, like, I can't believe that my relationship is the most successful part of my life. <laughs> yeah. Like, good. I never, ever thought that I would, like, be the person where it's, like, someone could point at the relationship and be like, I want to, like, my grandma's. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I never thought I would be that person. And everything else just seems so stupid and fucked up in comparison. Mm. Listener, are you sitting right now? Maybe you're standing, but I want you to be thinking about your butt. Do you feel clean? Do you feel fr I'm just getting into it, listener. I'm getting into it the way my hello tushy gets into it, into me, and leaves me feeling fresh and cleaner than any wiping ever did. Listener, I'm breaking up with TP. It's all about me and my Hello Tushy bidet now. And don't just take it from me. With over 100,000 five-star reviews, see why millions of real pooping humans already love the Hello Tushy bidet. 
Every Hello Tushy bidet attachment comes with a 30-day risk-free guarantee and a 12-month warranty. So you don't even have to take a risk here, listener. Just give it a shot. I know for me, feeling good in the bedroom means feeling clean and hygienic. That's why I love the Hello Tushy bidet. It cleans your bum with a fresh stream of water that's two times better than wiping and prevents poo particles from spreading to your hands and everything you touch. It attaches to your existing toilet, requires no electricity or additional plumbing, and cuts toilet paper used by 80%. You know I'm a green girly. You know I'm a green gay. I love that. A Hello Tushy bidet pays for itself in under a year. Stop wiping and start washing. Go to hellotushy.com forward slash WHGS and use promo code WHGS for 10% off your first order. That's hellotushy.com slash WHGS for 10% off. Wait, I had one other question about the bisexual thing. Okay. No. You're dating bisexual women. Oh, yeah. It doesn't bother you. What if they were into Matt? Like, would it would it matter to you? Like, what if they said they were more into me or more into Kim Kardashian? You know what I'm saying? Like, would what that like it would make more sense to me if they were into you? Yeah, that's yeah. How I was gonna say that. Um, but yeah, it, it'd be very similar. I think I'd be a little bit more excited because I think there's like less of you than like feminine <laughs> women. So I would be, I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, there's not as many to look out for. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, either way, it doesn't bother me as long as she doesn't cheat on me. I yeah, that's good. pretty much the only standard when it comes to that is just like, don't. I'm just curious because like I, yeah. I never get to ask men these questions, you know? But I don't Cause know. Because at, at a diner, it feels inappropriate. No, it's the perfect time. I asked the waiter, and I'm like, what do you think about femboys? And, like, <laughs> like, and they write it down on a napkin because they get a little nervous, but they tell me the information. Yeah, I would, I I think it would um like if uh, if they were more into like feminine energy, I think that would be almost more fun for the relationship because then you get to you know kind of bounce off because that's what I'm into and you get to bounce off. It's like oh look at Margot Robbie you in the, the Barbie same movie. Hall pass. Or what, yeah, exactly. Right. I I get a little jealous sometimes of even if they say maybe it's just being in L.A. where well, they'd be like oh this famous person's hot and I'm be like they could be down the street. Yeah, that, there's that, always there's a like, chance in L.A. Yeah. and I. I hate that <laughs> about the hall pass being real yeah, yeah yeah like jared's love of his life um Haley steinfeld um <laughs> the girl he's talking to now H- Haley was at her event that she was putting on oh yeah and um his girlfriend wouldn't let him go because <laughs> he, that was actually like his hall pass like yeah. girlfriend yeah but it's weird in la because yeah you'll just see them on a wednesday and it's like right you oh. could run into these people yeah. yeah um neil rubenstein do you know neil no he opens for me a lot he has a special out now have some dignity on YouTube. Um, he opens for me, and he opens for a lot of rock bands, emo bands. Oh, cool! He used to. Um, he did backup vocals on Taking Back Sundays out one of two of their albums, I Hell think. Yeah. Like the guy's like really in the scene. Yeah, the emo scene, and um, he would talk to girls about who their hall passes are, and he was like, "You can't have a hall pass that's in my phone." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's you, so true. I know that guy. <laughs> like, we're we're gonna have him over. Um, it does complicate the hall pass thing. Is the hall pass thing real? Uh, Round table. If someone says, oh, this is my hall pass, it is only, it real? It only no. works if no. like, if you're not in a big city. If you're not in like New York or L.A. or Chicago or whatever where like these people are. Like if you're in. Your hall pass is never going to want to fuck you. Well, that's, that's part of it. That's the thing. That's part of why the hall pass works is because this person. Michael Caine is never going to want <laughs> No. But if you're like in Dublin, Ohio or whatever, and Dublin, it's just Ohio. like, you know, I just picked a random city. Uh, but it's just like where that's never going to be a possibility. Yeah, then have but, your hall pass. But in like the one in a billion chance. But if that, Haley Steinfeld ends up in Dublin, Ohio, is your partner allowed to fuck her? I think just to give your partner that one in a million no. experience. He's speaking for himself. <laughs> but it would be anybody. Like if I was, you know, if I was dating a girl in this town and somehow Ryan Gosling shows up or whatever. And then Ryan is like, would, I want to fuck this le- frozen yeah. yogurt employee. <laughs> the, like we have to let their I feel like it's more likely for men though. They would definitely go after the frozen yogurt employee. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah, right. But yeah, it, it, so it, it's like, I don't know. In certain like circumstances where the the odds of that actually happening are astronomically low, that I, I think it would be. You fun think if the to odds you can't have a hall pass if you live in Beverly Hills? No. Yeah. No. You think the lower the odds, 
the more acceptable the hall pass. 100%. Yeah, that's right. If it's a true miracle. Yeah. Like if it's a quantum physics thing. 100%. Like the 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 glory this is a deeply philosophical episode. <laughs> the glory of the hall pass is so inc- like you can it's almost like it's not cheating because it was so bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. I I 100% believe that. But yeah, like if you're in Beverly Hills and you see, you know, fucking uh who's who's hot? Ryan Reynolds at Erwan or something. Right. It's like you can't I don't want my partner going up to them and being like, hey, you know. Yeah, exactly. My girlfriend's hall pass is probably Timothy Chalamet. That's probably who she'd say because she's into like weird little guys. Okay. A lot of girls are into weird little guys right now. And Kylie Jenner is a combination that doesn't make sense to me. I know. I think the entire world is with you on that. Okay. I'm so glad. I haven't heard anyone. To me, it feels gay. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it is. No, that's gay <laughs> you know what I mean because it's like you see that in the lesbian world right in the lesbian, like lesbian world couple. you'll see like a six foot Amazonian curvy <laughs> woman dating a non-binary five foot ten butch pack of a <laughs> twink <laughs> like in the queer world that's like you yeah, that's, it is see a queer that relationship. Yeah. you're right it, it, it's almost queer in, in what it is what gay um, animal are we or twink twinkified what um Oh, you you guys, you uh, you're probably closest to an otter. Hell yeah. I fucking love otters. You are too big to be a twink. Yeah, but what am I? I want to be something. <laughs> I don't know. Isn't he also an otter know. then? Yeah, but you're not hairy. No. Is otter about hair? You're like a naked mole rat. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> That's Wait, hot. let's do a Google. What am I Gay like? animals. Because there's gay. bears, there are otters. I'm definitely not a bear, not an otter. God, Men love God, this, and like we're not the you. right people. Gay animals. The girl you like texted you? Yeah. Bear, Ooh. otter. Who did? I said, thank God, the girl I like texted me. What? Uh... No, you got to stop talking to her. <laughs> what? No. This wolf. A What's a wolf? Coaster. Okay, gay Gay animals is just saying <laughs> birds, bed <laughs> penguins, bears, monkeys. Just saying flamingos. Otter, wolf, bear, cub, chub, pup, bull. Ooh, pup sounds cool. Chup, pup, pup. Pup? That sounds like innocent. Jock. Predatory. Yeah. Hmm. Chub. I kind of like a wolf. I don't know what that is, but I want to be a yeah, wolf. Of course you like wolf. Lean, muscular, semi hairy, and her age. Any age. <laughs> and, her, and have AIDS. I thought that's what you said. And have AIDS. Hairy and uh, has AIDS. Okay. I thought you said NRA. So NRA. it's like. <laughs> NRA. <laughs> just, wow. It's just. Um, Wait, you guys Matthew live in LA? Kind of pup. Yeah. I'd kind Where of do you down guys the street. live? Like, you live around minutes here? from here, North Hollywood. You, yeah, you live together. No. Yeah. Yeah. You do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you work out separate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you might be a. Tw- <laughs> but I'm doing like a. You workout. might be a twunk. Oh, there you program. go. So like mine's with a trainer. But I think you're on your way to it. gym rack, rat or jock. I don't want to be like. I just want to like take my shirt off at a local pool and like they don't glance twice for any reason. <laughs> they, they glance once and go, he has a nice now, body. Now do they glance because they recognize you from the pod? Um, it's happened a lot more. Um, yeah, it's, it's it happens when I'm at college, like near colleges. Yeah, like yeah, you got to be near your and demo. Yeah. Sorry, so you are in a relationship and you're single? Yeah. So do you get excited about the idea of using your fame for pussy? <laughs> no. Allie's asking for personal, for personal <laughs> No, reasons. no, I just personally find it to be appealing for me. Um, No. I feel like a lot of. I think for men, it's for scary, Allie. It's so scary. It is terrifying. Wait, what? What part? The pregnancy. The pregnancy. The the, pregnancy. the talk. Like because they want to get allegation. pregnant so they can have the money oh. and things like yeah, that. Yeah, you want to be really? super safe. I mean, not that with sucks. me. Like with like Michael B. Jordan, they'd be like that guy's. Yeah, they're I don't not. Think they they look want at me your. They want be, to get pregnant by you. That you think maybe? No, I don't think so. It could right. It could be a money. There's trap. a certain level right. of fame. It's scary for heteros. It's scary. but I would just not be fucking them raw then. Still scary. Accidents I've happen. I've never had sex without a condom. Uh, in your that, life? Yeah. I would not be fucking without a condom either if I didn't if I didn't want someone to get knocked up with my kid. Because that's scary. The, the man makes the choice before when he puts on a condom. Then yeah. the women gets to choose after. Yeah. That's scary. And I wouldn't want to have a that's woman. such a good way of looking at it. And I've never heard it put that way. Yeah. The man makes the choice before the woman gets the choice after. We both get a choice. Yeah, of course. And oh, I, I wouldn't want a woman that. holding that over me. Yeah. That would scare the fuck out of me if I didn't want to have a kid and I fucked a random girl, a condom broke or something. Yeah. Oh, God. I would just get fucking snipped. I want to. I would get you snipped. You can undo it. I don't know why more men don't I know. do it. I, I want to do it. Like, I already I've have heard to... a lot of stories, though, of it still works. Like, I've had a lot of cousins oh. that are still here because of it. <laughs> that <laughs> you are know? still here. You know? <laughs> that are still here. <laughs> They're um, here. Yeah. That's, that's certainly a, t- I would do that. A, a, 
element of the time travel movie that's never occurred. You've never seen a character just fade out. (laughs) That would be because of the snip on snip, though. (laughs) Snip on snip. The snip on snip. Snip on snip. Well, we got to wrap up. You guys, this was like a really fun. We have to no. wrap up. That's that's we the whole. Gotta yeah, wrap that's it up. wrap up. Did you wrap it around? What did I say that everyone thought I was trying to choke hold of someone's penis? Yeah. What's up? Did, did <laughs> you tie it up? Did you tie it up? Tie it up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, of course, dropouts Saj. pod. Yes. Everywhere you get pods. Everywhere. What about your personal it, projects? Fine. Do you have anything that you're plugging? Uh, and you're on tour, sort of. Kind of. I mean, we're picking our next. Sometimes it's one. Sometimes we'll be in your town. Uh, nothing too crazy. I make um, music on the side, Jer Bear. Um, if you look it up, I've got a few songs. Do you like out. to drink? I don't drink. Good, she, good, good. We I talked don't drink about it. this I, in the beginning. Well, I forgot. I'll have a Coke. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we do a drunk episode on our Patreon that it's like the most fun we ever I do. I thought you don't drink either. I don't. I get to He's witness the it. the moderator. And then, so yeah. me and our assistant, Alyssa, we, and then we that sometimes have a guest. We get it's obliterated. And it is the, the craziest. Best time. Like we just put an episode, the craziest thing we've ever put out. It was oh my god, insane! It was so much fun though. Yeah. But um, good that you don't drink. <laughs> Drinking That's makes fun. you gay, is what I heard. That's why I don't drink. Drinking but made not. me so fucking gay. Oh yeah, because <laughs> I was like able to be straight, and then I would get drunk, and I was like, I'm so fucking gay. <laughs> it checks out. The man yeah. is there. I love that. I don't know what would have happened to me if I every drank. time Maybe I was I'd drunk, I was like, I want to mm-hmm. eat a pussy. Yeah. Drinking yeah. makes me Sucked. celibate. I like I don't want to have sex when I'm drunk. All I want to do when I ha- I'm drunk is have sex. Interesting. Drinking? What well, really? You don't yeah. feel s- turned on? No, I just I want to I just want to like have fun but not in a sexual manner. We were gay. No. <laughs> the one time we got drunk, we were on a trip with girls and um I well, nobody had been drinking the or everybody had been drinking the entire trip and on the very last day Everyone was so hungover and just like they didn't Except want to you. look at alcohol. Yeah, and I'm good. I've been hydrated this whole time. So <laughs> as a bit, I've never drank in my life. I go and grab eight shots and I down them in 30 seconds. But hold on. The thing is, he got the shots no. for Real us shots? trying to convince yeah. us that it was water. So we got eight tequila shots. And I didn't know there's different types of tequila. He didn't know that there's dark tequila and <laughs> light, te- <laughs> light tequila. And so he comes back Bro, with Bro, you're eight- lucky you didn't die. He was so close. Yeah, I was very drunk, but the entire like I always wonder what my drunk self would be like. And, and that was the one time you were yeah. there. Yeah. So oh my so God. the girls there, the entire time I just asked them, I've been making you feel comfortable on this trip, right? I just want to make <laughs> sure that I have it. Like th- that's, that's all I so said. That's so cute he, that that's what comes out. He had when about he's drunk. five yeah. minutes. Is, of are that. you comfortable? No, no. And I would touch him. I'd be like, Can I? Uh, I think I need to go lay down. And I'm like, I'm so like, if I should I have done that? Like I like did. He's trying to balance. I wasn't himself, trying to make a move he, on like, you. He would like rest his hand. He's like, Oh no, no, no. I'm sorry. I just there was sure like you're okay. five minutes of this, and then he became incoherent. And then and like, like the one girl, I was like, I was like, you like are exceptionally attractive, and I don't want to make you feel weird by telling you that. But I should probably go lay down because I just I really want to hang out with you oh a lot God. tonight based on my drinking. How and did I, you feel in the morning? Um, I found oh I he hasn't drank since. <laughs> I got a text from this girl that I liked that she didn't want to be with me anymore or something. Yeah, really. It was, um, he was hungover and then just got this like. So I went to the, I went to the beach That's and awesome. I just hung out by myself and I just existed. I thought I just he kind was of looked in the around. shower. Motherfucker was at the beach. The oh, I pulled. Time. Yeah, I pulled a bit. He's like, you gotta go in the shower to get the drunkness away, and which I, I've heard is not good for you, but it makes me feel better. And for some time. reason, I thought it'd be funny if I like came back from the beach and the shower's still running. He'd be like, never got in. In my like drunk mind, that was gonna be <laughs> hilarious for everybody. And then of course he's just like so confusing and scary. So mad. <laughs> not funny. You're just like you're just the planet is dying. <laughs> yeah, wow. you yeah. just wasted water. Wow, so in a, much in a place that really needed it. And that's why I didn't finish this because I'm gonna give the rest of this back <laughs> to put it back in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, thank you guys. Thank I you. I know, like, you're putting yourself out there by coming onto a podcast like this. So oh, I appreciate it. I listen. We've put ourselves out plenty on our own podcast and like my aunt watches it and she knows more about me than I ever want any of my family members yeah, to know. Yeah, yeah, we had to stop so, my family and Jen's family from watching. Yeah. My mom doesn't know what YouTube is, so it's great. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was selling merch for us at one of our shows because she has seen some of it and she's like, don't know why you guys like this. It is too crass. And then she'll <laughs> give them a shirt and then she's like, I don't watch it. Your merch, you guys, actually... Everyone at this, this is table your merch? except me this has is, great merch. Yeah, this is our merch right here. That's Sup- cool as Super fuck. simple. Yeah. Um, great. Like, we went I with the highest quality merch. t-shirts just because Does yours we... say we're having gay sex on it? It does. Ah. I feel it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I like it. So, um, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And Allie, you want to plug anything? 
Allie Colbert. Yeah, on go everything. see Allie on tour. Breaking Down with Allie Colbert. On Spotify. Podcast. Yeah. And everywhere you listen to Pod's video on Spotify. Yeah. And subscribe to their Patreon. Thank you. Patreon.com slash WHGS. We, we need go. it. What we do they it. get on the Patreon? I'm on, only, I'm on only bonus fans. episodes a month. Hell yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's for doing what? For what low price? For 10 bucks a month. Wow. Oh, that's, that's a great. Oh, uh, that's like one cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah. That's an amazing deal. Wow. Yeah, it really is. And you, you get to support the pod. It supports everybody on the team. Thanks for listening, guys. Uh, yeah, this podcast c- can't exist without our Patreon. So head on over to patreon.com slash WHGS. If you're low on funds, there is a $1 option. And if you're looking for bonus content, we do two to four bonus episodes a month, depending on your tier. That's so much. Bu- <laughs> Jesus Christ. My, I'm hoarse. I'm dry, dude. I'm dry. Um, and then I'm in Denver this weekend. AshleyGavin.com to get a text when I'm in your city. And then my gay thought. What does queer culture mean to you? Because to me, and I've been working on this joke, when I think about queer people, we don't have that ancestral link to begin with. We don't have like a land. We don't have like a family. (coughs) Good God. Leave it. (laughs) Leave it. It's just because I'm so dry. I'm dry. So you can't invite someone over to your house and give them a gay dish. Alex, is what I'm saying making sense? (coughs) So beyond sort of a value system, what does queer culture mean to you? Because so much of it is appropriated from other cultures. I like to think what we're doing here on this podcast is a nice part of queer culture where we're getting so many different stories and trying to find the common thread of the human experience through that diversity because we are an incredibly diverse community. Right in, listener, that's my gay thought. Not very funny. (laughs) Ha <laughs>